my name is Zoe. I am the Tipsy Psychic and today I'm going to talk to you about the compatibility between an Aquarius Pisces cusp and a Leo. You are a delightful couple to be around. You both enchant those around you. You both are extremely open and you allow things to be as they are. One of you is usually more conservative and the other is usually a little bit more extreme with their views. So it never gets boring because you have such opposite perspectives, you know? Watch out for substance abuse. Addictions often flourish over the course of this relationship, most often in the form of addictive drugs like cocaine or heroin or even nicotine, smoking cigarettes. It could even be something milder like caffeine, like drinking too much coffee all the time or even eating tons of sugar. I mean, studies have demonstrated that sugar is the new cocaine. It is very addictive, so just watch out. Even if you're just trying something once in this relationship, it can turn into a serious addiction. It is not uncommon for one of you to be a smoker when you enter into the relationship and then the other person becomes a smoker as a result, and so you are a smoking couple, that kind of thing. It's good to be assertive, but sometimes it can backfire. Stop taking the hostile approach to getting things done. There are other ways of working. There is so much to discover in your Leo. They may seem surface level at first, but they have so much to offer and they have a heart of gold. It's time to get to know them and discover how special they are. Being with a Leo would be thrilling. I'm pretty sure you guys would hit it off. You both read others very well and you use that to attract them. You easily let your walls down for each other. No matter how much you are used to being private and keeping to yourself, this is a very progressive couple. You're able to appreciate traditional values and at the same time be open to change. Express yourself. It's okay to cry in front of your Leo and laugh. You have to express your emotions. This is important to your Leo. Do not hide from them. Be your unique, beautiful self. Don't pretend or hide behind a facade. They need to see the true you. Try to put yourselves in each other's shoes. You both have very different perspectives, but that doesn't mean that you can't try to see things their way. A Leo would take your breath away. They have these desires that would amaze you. Your Leo is stunning. Other people are drawn to you both because of how powerful your chemistry is. You have a very intense connection that would radiate outwards and other people are attracted to that connection. Your connection may have a very theatrical side. It's bold and it can become a facade that you put up to keep your true feelings a secret. Leos are strong-willed and resilient. Make sure you pay attention to what you need. It can be very easy to get carried away with your Leo's desires. So make sure you are also giving yourself the attention that you deserve. You gotta balance out your emotions if you want this to work. And you need to show your Leo compassion. Show them that you care. Leo will have a very fiery personality and it may be overwhelming at times. A Leo would blow your mind. You both are usually very up to date on social media. Sometimes you make friends as a couple through social media. When things get too intense, it is not uncommon for them to try to escape with drugs or develop addictions. If this couple gets too carried away with the theatrics, they may feel sad and dull and get very stuck. They can dig themselves into a ditch. You are a delicate orchid on the inside. And on the outside, you look like a cactus. And Leo is like a cactus on the inside and the outside. So through and through, cactus through and through. So they may not really understand that you look more durable than you are on the inside. You're actually fragile inside compared to them. As friends, it can feel like you're afraid of seeming silly. You won't actually fully let them in because they seem to have x-ray vision. 
They already see you in a vulnerable way. It's hard to trust them, and you also know what they are capable of. You may feel awkward or embarrassed at times. Try to keep a secure relationship. You need things to feel steady. Don't try to defeat your Leo if they are against you. That's not productive. You feel like your Leo is forcing you to go fast. You may not be going at the same speed. You don't like feeling pressured. You both are awesome at buying gifts for people. It's like you go all out when you're gift shopping together. Your friends and family always get the most exciting gifts from the both of you. You both find so much pleasure in dating each other. You appreciate your romantic times together. You both usually have a different way of dating. You approach your love lives in a very different way. As friends, you attract others to your circles. You see right through each other's plans, which makes you wary of them. But at the end of the day, you have each other's backs. You get each other. They may have a tendency to rely on you more for household stuff, but it's really important to be equals in this area. It also helps your Leo grow. After a long day at work when you just want to chill and kick back, you get home and your Leo will have something for you to do. Something that they need you to take care of. They always have something for you to help out with or something for you to do or a favor to ask. And you just want a beer and to watch your favorite Netflix show and catch up on it. And they just have to keep you busy. This couple can accomplish anything if they put their minds to it. There is also a very down to earth vibe about this pair. You both are very ambitious individuals. Leo will have an easier time talking about their emotions when they date you. It's really important to take some time and really get to know each other and date for a while before you decide to get married. You both have a very powerful impact on each other's well-being and it's very important that you take it slow and you examine how you are impacting each other's mental health. Like how are you really affecting them mentally? If either one of you suffers from a serious mental illness like bipolar disorder or schizophrenia or chronic depression or, you know, anxiety, borderline personality disorder, those are just a few. If you're suffering from a mental illness, then this may not be a really good relationship for you because this can really make those worse. We all know those people we really like, but they don't make us feel any better. In fact, they can sometimes fuck with us a little bit without even wanting to or meaning to, but they kind of impact our well-being. So just be very careful when choosing to date each other if you are suffering from something like that because it really could just make things worse for you. You have this need to take care of someone and it may seem natural to try to take care of your Leo. You're very nurturing. You want to tend to their needs. Just be careful because your Leo may take advantage of your kindness. Do not let them walk all over you. This is how your marriage would go downhill. Say goodbye to your marriage. You can't carry all that weight of the relationship on your shoulders. It's not sustainable. So be careful if you find yourself doing it all, that is not okay. Make sure your Leo steps it up if you feel like they're taking their part for granted. A Leo always seems to have something going on when you're around them. They keep busy in their own way. Be careful not to fall into unhealthy patterns. Sex addictions can develop and unhealthy habits. If you feel like you're getting carried away, codependency often develops because it is so easy to get lost in this relationship. You forget who you are as an individual. Maintain your independence. When you fall for each other, you fall hard. This is a very lustful and seductive pair. This is a very erotic couple. You must be careful to keep things healthy and stable. You can't magically make your Leo open up. They have to do some emotional work on themselves. Remember that they may bottle up their emotions. They'll keep them all bottled up and suppressed within themselves and they're gonna have to do some work to get that cork popped open. You are not the one to open them up. You are not the key. 
However, you are there to help them master their emotions when they do open up. In the meantime, you cannot pry. Leo will make you feel self-assured. You may feel like you can be more bold with a Leo. You don't really have to worry about your Leo not opening up because you are the reason they can finally let their emotions go free and express themselves. Leos may need to force themselves to open up again, but that's not usually a bad thing. You would have a blast with your Leo. Don't let addictions form. Seek help right away. It is not uncommon for you both to take it too far. It is also not uncommon for you both to end up in dangerous situations when you have reached a point of no return. Try not to overdose on drugs, okay? A Leo will encourage you to get out of your shell. Marriages do usually work out. In fact, I recommend them. Just be careful of doing things in excess. Otherwise, this couple is magical. I really hope that this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you are an aqua pie in Aquarius Pisces cusp or a Leo, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Have you ever dated each other? Are you interested in one another? Is this accurate? This is not at all accurate. Let me know, I wanna know. Also, yeah, thank you for watching, bye-bye.